New players in Destiny 2 are being flung into Dares of Eternity without context or preparation and given that they are below the power level needed for the activity, new players are getting seriously messed up. This has led the Destiny community to once again come together, only this time it's to help out the new players trapped inside this loop. Well today I'm going to have a look at Operation Rescue New Lights, plus let you know how you can help too and get a nice new emblem from Bungie for your troubles. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. And also, I am running a competition at the moment to give away a deluxe version of the Witch Queen, so if you're not able to get a copy for the launch in February 2022, then enter the competition down below and I'm going to be picking one lucky winner at the end of January. Well, this issue with new players has been happening ever since the 30th anniversary pack dropped at the beginning of December 2021. So it's new content, and naturally Bungie wants to introduce it to new players. However, there was a slight mistake here given the power requirements are 11.50 for Dares of Eternity, and this activity also includes some champions. You know, now, 11.50 is nice and easy for most of us who've been playing the game for some time, given the current power cap is 13.30. Well, for new players who enter the game at 1100, they're facing enemies of 1150 and above in this six-person activity, not to mention trying to understand the context of Zur, Star Horse, and everything else that Dares of Eternity has to throw at us. Well, players can simply quit out of the activity, but if you're new, this isn't the most obvious thing to do, and new lights, they're getting stuck in Dares of Eternity, barely able to damage any of the enemies. Well, this is where Operation Rescue New Light started, and what you can do is put on lower power level gear to reduce your overall power level to something like 1100 before you go into Dares of Eternity. And then once you get matched up with players and you're in, you can put on your regular gear once again. This means you can focus on crowd control and doing some big damage whilst helping out the new players along the way. Well first up, let's have a look at how you can lower your power level in Destiny 2. So you can either go into your vault and find some lower light gear, or you can go into your collections and find the original white armor under the leveling section. Now, if you've taken part in Festa of the Lost before, then you're likely to have a zero power level Rahul mask, or you can pick up a level 21 class item from your collections, making it nice and easy to lower your light level. So once you're around 1100, then you can enter Dares of Eternity. Well, next up, let's have a look at how this operation started. So originally this was started on Reddit by a user called Jung and the rescue missions have turned into a community event of sorts, with word spreading on YouTube, Twitter and TikTok. Now, it's got so big that sometimes you can lower your power level, enter Dares of Eternity and find three or four other rescuers helping out. Well, there has been a reaction from Bungie as well, so Bungie has acknowledged there is an issue here, with DMG taking to Twitter to say, players that are lower in power level need some help in Dares of Eternity. And how can you assist? We'll grab some low power level gear from your collections and hop into matchmaking. You can swap back to your normal loadout after you've found a match. Now, some have called this Operation Save the New Lights. Whilst the issue impacts some of the new players, it's also hitting some who've taken long breaks from Destiny 2 and are at a lower power level. So we've got some fixes in the pipeline, but not for this week. You know, on the community side, we're looking to spin up a little emblem to earn. We won't be overly restrictive in how it's handed out, we would love to give thanks to those who've lent a hand and also apologise to those who were caught in the crossfire. Stay tuned for our announcements. Well, the Destiny 2 Twitter account then revealed yesterday the emblem that we're going to get for this. So the emblem is pretty cool and it was spun up very quickly giving the team a heads down on delivering and polishing the final few features of Witch Queen at the moment. So let's have a look at the Circumflex Diacratic Emblem and next up let's have a look at how to get that emblem so all you have to do to get the emblem is run a version of Dares of Eternity between now and January the 18th, 2022. And Bungie will issue the emblem at a later date. So what will happen, we will get a notification from Bungie when that becomes available. So all you need to do is run Dares of Eternity and then when the emblem becomes available, and I'll let all of you know here on the channel when that happens, and then I imagine you'll just be able to pick it up from your collections. Well, DMG explained a little more about the emblem, and he said, We aren't being overly restrictive with the qualifications here, just hop in and play. You know, cheers to those diving in to assist new lights. This wouldn't be happening without you. And we wanted to make sure that everyone, whether they be new light or someone looking to help out, gets the emblem. 
Yeah, we did discuss a few options, some being, is there a way to grant this only to the people lowering their power? And issues do arise in detecting players who lower their power for matchmaking. You know, if they increase their power by the end of the match, they wouldn't qualify. Also didn't want a situation where players lowered their power level as much as they could, but then ended up 10 over the threshold for detection. You know, this way, everyone will benefit and we can all celebrate together. You know, yes, Bungie could be a little bit more selective when it comes to how to get the emblem, but the work here it would take versus the reward isn't quite well balanced. So I'm pretty happy with what they're doing here, and the new emblem looks very cool. There's another one of those Destiny 2 moments where you can say, I was there. A little bit like Prometheus Lens in the Crucible for Laser Tag weekend, which was a whole lot of fun as well. You know, I think there's a couple of good things here. It's a good lesson for Bungie not to throw in new players into activities with a higher power than they're ready for. Plus, it's a really good opportunity for the community to come together and help out new players. So the new player experience in Destiny 2 is less than optimal, and throwing new players into an activity with a talking cosmic horse and a game show led by a tentacle-faced cloaked man is most likely adding to that confusion. Well, let me know down in the comments if you've taken part in Operation Rescue New Lights, and also sharing good stories that you've got with the community. Well, that is it for this guide for Operation Rescue New Lights in Destiny 2, and also how to get the Circumflex Diacritic Emblem. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon.